Hi Derplings, it's Elaine Mock and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my battle station setup. <laughs> it makes me cringe every time I say it. But anyways, today's main product feature is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2 in cool gray. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might remember this as the chair I built on my IG story. And yeah, I've had it since February, so that's like nine months now that I've had it. So for pros, it's fully adjustable, it's super comfortable, it has a breathable back, it has a great color selection, one of the best values on the market, and it's also pretty easy to assemble. I did it by myself. <laughs> Moving on to cons, the only real flaw is that the armrests do not lock in and they slide side to side. But honestly, I don't even notice it. It doesn't really bother me, but this is something that uh, people did bring up in reviews. And if that's something of a concern for you guys, then that's something maybe you should keep in mind if you are in the market for a new chair. So the next two concerns can be easily solved with a booster seat and a seat cover. So um, I have callousy heels and I like to sit with my feet in the chair and that causes the seat to develop a lot of pilling. And yeah, if you're like me, maybe you should get a seat cover. And if you're also like me where you're a bit short and you know, overall like the world is just not built for us shorties, then um, maybe a booster seat or like a cushion to give you like a little bit of height just so you can like really use the chair to its full potential. Uh, yeah, check Autonomous out. I'll leave their links in the info box below. Yeah, check them out. Uh, yeah, so let's move on with the setup tour. So let's start the shelves to get them out of the way. So I have four IKEA lac shelves on either side of my PC and they suck. I don't recommend them, but they were very affordable. I'm just in fear every day that my things are gonna fall off. The left shelf has my least used things and my right shelf has the most used things like uh, my topical treatments, my medication, my Chanel bag, you know, da 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 da, just because it's more accessible <laughs> through this way than it is to like go behind this chair and then go to the left side. <laughs> There's really not much to say about the stuff on the shelves. You know, I'm just kind of like a out of sight, out of mind kind of person. So I do really like to use the uh, like shopping display approach where, um, you know, I get to see it every day and then I'll be like, do I really need it? Maybe I'll throw it out. On the right side of my desk is my PC tower and living on top of it is the Nintendo Switch in the Animal Crossing New Horizons edition. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You have eyes, you can see it. Uh, my PC specs will be in the info box below. Um, I have like last generation's PC organs, so I don't have like the beefiest machine, but it was pretty beefy back in the day. On the opposite end of the table, I have the Blue Yeti mic in white on a white newer mic arm. And behind it is the V-Moda uh, wireless crossfade headphones in the Codex edition in matte white. And then it's resting on top of a silver Satechi headphone stand. And they are living above the Audio Engine A2 Pluses in white. I actually used to have gaming headphones and honestly, they really sucked. I didn't like them at all. The audio quality sucked and then like the, ugh. It was so heavy and then the mic kind of sucked. So I already had a Blue Yeti mic from making YouTube videos. So I decided to invest into a pair of headsets. Uh, so this combination it was like a really big quality of life audio improvement. So when it comes to my monitors, it's kind of a long story. Basically, I bought this very beautiful Asus IPS monitor and it was in best amount compatible. And then I got an Asus monitor to match it. And then, you know, it just ended up that I had two monitors that weren't best amount compatible and it was too expensive to just buy new monitors just so they were best amount compatible because these monitors are amazing. They're great. It's beautiful. I love gaming on them. It's the colors are so rich and I don't even need mods because I have a lot of friends that do use mods for let's say Final Fantasy 14 to make their game prettier. But when I use these monitors, I don't need that because it already makes everything so beautiful. So anyways, to solve the problem of not being able to use a monitor stand, I actually got this Vivo, um, monitor stand. So what I like about it is that it's a clamp 
uh, that comes in from the back. So I didn't want, like, I didn't want to restrict myself and make it look closed off with like four legs for the shelf. Um, the fact that it's just like two clams, it's like mostly visible. Like, I don't really notice it when I'm at my desk and it just kind of gives this like floating shelf effect and I really love it. I have so much more space for everything and it's great. The only thing though is that it is black but I was considering adding some white contact sheet on it in the future uh, so maybe it can match my setup a little bit more but for now too lazy. <laughs> now finally onto the peripherals. I have the Corsair K70 MK2 special edition gaming keyboard. And then I have the Corsair M65 Elite gaming mouse in white resting on top of a extended Razer Golothis mouse pad <laughs> in mercury white. And I'm not gonna lie, this mouse pad it does get dirty very easily uh i just have to be a little bit more careful when i'm like eating or drinking around like my desk uh but i just lay a cloth over it and you know good enough for me my setup is not finished and never will be it'll always be my work in progress but i am trying to move towards a more minimalistic lifestyle so hopefully that will reflect in my videos over time for us to observe in the future and that's my battle station. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gaming and tech have always been something that I really love. It's always been a part of my life, but I never really shared that part of me on YouTube. And I'm hoping moving forward that I can share more of the things that I love with you guys. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my Twitch. I'm going to be streaming soon. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Oh my god, all that shit. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> Dirt mama out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my attempt for cable management for the first time. It's not the best, but it's out of the way. I made it way too tight though. But uh, everything is just double-sided tape or these type of clips. And uh, yeah, it's not bad.